British Prime Minister Boris Johnson made a surprise visit to Ukraine this weekend, appearing with President Zelensky and pledging military support for Ukraine's defense in the form of more than 100 armored vehicles. The EU, meanwhile, has promised a speedy process for Ukraine to join the bloc, something that normally would take years. With the latest on the war, our Kim Doyan reports. In the streets of Ukrainian capital Kyiv on Saturday was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Johnson expressing support for the people of Ukraine and promising more aid for the country to fend off Russia's invasion. Well, it's nice to meet you and it's been our privilege to, to help you have a remarkable president. Uh, Mr. Zelensky, who's done an outstanding job, and uh, we simply wish to keep supporting the people of Ukraine for as long as it takes. Soon after the two met, the UK announced that it's giving 120 armored vehicles to Ukraine, and this also coming after a day the country announced 130 million US dollars in military aid, which includes 800 anti tank missiles. A day earlier, the EU also promised support and a speedy process for Ukraine to join the bloc. We know a lot about each other because we've been working together so intensively over the last years. So it will be not as usual a matter of years to form this opinion, but I think a matter of weeks if we work closely together. So for you, dear Volodymyr, Thank you so much. I want to give you that. Thank you so much. Please, please. In the meantime, the number of civilian casualties from Friday's rocket attack on a train station in the eastern Ukrainian city of Kramatorsk has risen to more than 300, including at least 52 deaths. On the Russian side, General Alexander Dvornikov will now be in charge of Russia's forces in Ukraine, which have, by many accounts, performed poorly in the war so far, facing strong Ukrainian resistance. This is according to the New York Times and the BBC citing a high-ranking official in the Russian government. General Dvornikov has been in charge of Russia's southern military district. According to the reports, Russian forces had until now been under separate leadership, but Dvornikov will bring them under a single command. Sources told BBC that with his operational experience in Syria, the Russians expect the situation to improve for them. Kim Doya, Arirang News.